Hello, Gundam fans, this is Prime92, and today I'll be looking at the 1 to 144 high grade Zaku 2 Plus Big Gun Set. This is from the Thunderbolt subline, and well, I'm gonna focus on the Zaku 2 first just because, well, the Big Gun is like obviously a main part of it, but I still feel it's, it's an accessory really. So let's look at the mobile suit now. A lot of you might be tired of uh, Zaku 2 high grades coming out, but this guy is actually, as far as I can tell, completely original. Every piece is new. And I was actually surprised. I figured they'd reuse like most of it, but even the chest is different. It's more angular compared to the rounder uh, Zaku 2. Bigger front skirts, different feet, you know, the little verniers. And it does have more stickers, mostly on the backpack. Uh, the body has the eye and all the little vernier stickers, which one came off. And the little elbow and knee stickers. And that's it. The backpack has all the little gold verniers. All these little gray circles. A uh, gray sticker that goes all the way around here. And then about four gray stickers on the back. And then one that goes around the fuel tank. Oh, the, yeah, the fuel tank. So... It's not a whole bunch, mostly detailing once again, and it is a little back heavy, obviously it's got this uh, backpack, but it's not too hard to get to stand upright, as you can see. Once again, it has the um, material over the hosing, the joints, even goes up the arm. You can see it there, and the knee, and yeah, it's pretty nice. I really do like the design of the Zaku, even the shield is different. So if you're tired of the normal looking Zakus, this is nice. It's a really good uh, looking kit. And now the head goes up and down, forward and back, or rotates. You can still move the mono eye with the little lever there. Now the arms go forward and rotate. Uh, the spiky shoulder only goes that far out, so it'll go up pretty far. Uh, the shield is ball jointed, comes off a little too easily on mine. You can get it out of the way, so the arm will go up about a little further than the other one. Rotate below the shoulder, one jointed at the elbow, ball jointed wrist. You got a ball jointed waist and stomach. It's hindered by the uh, hosing, but it's not too bad. You got the front skirts, you got the side skirts, which are also limited. The legs will go forward and back, separate from the waist. Go pretty far forward, a little back, out, rotate at the hip, double jointed knee. Not too much. You got the hinge at the top of the ankle, and then the ball jointed foot, and the flip-flop. And then you also have a ball joint for the fuel tank. So it's about as good as all the other Zakus, really. I don't really see much of a, a change in the articulation. Nothing amazing, but it's still alright. Now the Zaku still has all the same weaponry as the originals. You have a Heat Hawk. And they've all been changed just a little bit. Um, the Heat Hawk, very minor. This little uh, square piece. The other ones have a peg, so you can peg them onto the side skirt. But these ones don't have any holes. So they got rid of that. Which they didn't have to. They could have left it. It doesn't matter. No, but they did. It doesn't hold it the best. But it's alright. And the cool thing is you can still mount it on the uh, this little flap here. It's on a hinge. And you can just clip it right in, like that, which is neat. And then we've also got a machine gun, which is also different. It's a little wider in the, uh, in the body. It has a movable scope, handle, removable clip, although I think you only get the one uh, round. I have the left trigger finger hand on it, and it easily goes on. You can also mount this onto the... Uh, Onto the back. Stay there. You got a little hole on the one side. And you can just take the other side of this thing and peg it on. They're not the most solid connection points, but they will hold. Now we've also got the uh, bazooka, which is also different. You have this ammo clip, I think it is, on the side. And it did have a little dongly thing. But it broke off, and I have no idea what happened. It broke in half, and the other piece went flying, so 
It's just a little triangular dongly thing. A little sticker for the scope, which moves. The handle moves. The main handle moves. I have the right trigger finger hand on it. And just goes on like that. And there's the bazooka. Now you can also mount the bazooka on the, well, the fuel tank. Uh, you got a hole near the ammo clip. Pegs in right there. And, oh, there you have it. All the weaponry can be stored on the Saku. Although, there's no way he's going to reach around and get it, so maybe since it is in space, he could eject it, and then float around, and uh, pick it up. Or he could eject it and have another Zaku get it. I don't know. So those are the accessories. They're pretty decent. Oh, and you also have a left uh, fist. Of course, the other main thing with the set is the big gun. Which is very big. As you can see, next to the Zaku, it's very big. Hence the name. Now, it does have a lot of stickers. Um, all the little purple on the ammo drums are stickers. The black in here, uh, red here, on here, all the little round gold on the main body, and these little teeny ones, um, the ones here, on the clamp, uh, the caution symbol thing, and probably more. Hey, there's the vernier! <laughs> That's funny. I found a little vernier for the, uh, the Zaku's leg. Oh, that's weird. Get back on your home. There we go. That's weird. Anyways. So, it is very sticker heavy. You also have the, um, little detail sticker sheet for the big gun. And there's also one for the Zaku. Now this thing does have a little bit of articulation. Right here at the base, and down here at the claw. They're all screwed in, but they give you little covers to um, conceal them, which is a good idea. You don't have to look at the screws. And they, they're as tight as you make them. Don't go too tight, because you don't want to accidentally break the hinge. Not that I've done that. I mean, that would be stupid. I mean, come on. <laughs> so you can move it here and here. Um, be careful with the little thrusters here. You might want to glue them on because they come off very easily, especially if you try to move this part. So just be careful. So you can... Uh, like, oh, and they, these things come off a little too easily as well. You might want to glue those little antennas. So you can have it down, or you can raise it up. If you want to have a 1 to 100 scale model, use them, you can. And they're... Actually, they work rather well without the uh, screw. I don't have a screw on this one, it's a little easier to move, but it, it keeps the shape. Like, when you keep it there, all three support it very well. And little clear red jewels here for the uh, sensors. And I do have the other trigger... there's a, an extra... what was it? Right trigger finger hand on here. You got a joint here for the extra handle that can go in and out, and up and down. And let's just get that back down a little bit so the high grade can use it. So, it is easier to have the actual hand attached, just so you can come in and connect it. And then just take the other handle and have the... It'd be nice if I had the right hand holding it. There we go. And just go like that. And there is the Zaku 2 mounting the uh, big gun. It's pretty neat. Very nice looking. If you got the space for this thing, it, it does look good. It really does. So, yeah, the accessories that come with this kit are pretty impressive. I'm, I'm really happy that they actually changed all the actual accessories for the Zaku. And they made, it, they made them, even if it was just a, one little piece, they made them different. Which they, they could have just given it the normal armament and said, Oh, and here's that shield connector, just stick it all in there. But the shield's different. So, yeah, they actually took some time and effort. And, of course, the big gun is pretty cool. It's a, it's big, it's a gun. Yeah, it's, it's interesting. So accessories are very, very good. 
Well, I noticed his little bazooka thing came off. Anyways, let's compare this guy to a couple other Zakus I've recently done. And you can see they are rather different compared to this guy. The chest is different, like skirt armor is longer. The knee armor is different. Feet are different. Everything is different. I'm just really impressed in how much this thing varies from the run of the mill Zaku 2 high grade. And to finish it up, the other Thunderbolt model kits in the line so far. So that is the Zaku 2 with Big Gun set. Get the Big Gun back in here. It's a pretty nice set. It is expensive. It's around the price of a Master Grade. But I really like it. I think the Zaku 2 is very nice. Now, you, I'm pretty sure they're coming out with a version of this guy by himself. So if you don't want the Big Gun or you don't have the space, you might want to wait because you, be, you should be able to get him separately eventually. But the big gun is pretty neat. It is a nice big gun. It does look good with a Zaku. Although, if you're like me and you don't have a lot of shelf space, you might want to hold off. But it is pretty nice. So that's about it, and I'll see you at the next review.